right. Okay, good. <laughs> I think we're here. Hmm, we're here. Good evening. Uh, good evening and welcome to Unsolicited, where we break down fashion one stitch at a time. My name is Susan Johnson, and I help sewers learn how to Google like a sewist in order to improve their sewing skills and their sewing knowledge. Welcome. I, I'm live here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Tonight, I have to eliminate my TikTok live for reasons of being able to manage all that, so I can't do it. So what we were talking about um, on my preview was McCall 6886, which is this pattern here. You can see it. So I'm going to um, show you about five different looks you can hack with this pattern and maybe give some pattern suggestions as to what to combine with the McCall 6886 to make these new looks. Now, if you bear with me, I'm going to go to my Pinterest page real quick. And um, uh, let's see. I'll wait for a few of you to come in. Let's see. I'm going to see how I can manage comments. I think I can. Okay, got a comment already, huh? Hi, hi, Stacy. Thank you for finding me over here. I hope I'm glad you probably found my story. I don't know um, on TikTok to let you guys know I will be here on YouTube or Facebook. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm looking. Let me see. Had some technical difficulties. I definitely need, need a new computer. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna pray and make sure and hope that we're gonna um, make it through this live. Okay. All right, so we're talking about McCall 6886. Um, I'm going to put my graphic up while I go ahead and look for it online. Oh my I'm going to look for some hacks for you. I do have some saved here. All right. Um, you can put in the comments for me uh, whether or not you have done any pattern alterations, pattern hacking, or pattern frame was it franken patterning all of that you know making changes to your original patterns um in the past have you done much of that uh, put in the comments uh, a little a lot or none at all just let me know what your uh experience with pattern hacking has been okay let's see and if i'm too loud let me know because i can I, i'm actually trying Make sure you can hear me. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. All right. I apologize for that delay here. I'm trying to get to it. All right. I do have a Pinterest board, and you guys are welcome to check it out. Um, it's called Susan Unsolicited, or you can just Google um, search for Unsolicited, U-N-S-E-W-S-L-I-C-I-T-E-D. On Pinterest and check out some of the ideas that I've pinned for pattern hacking because these are ideas I had hoped to make or I had ideas about. So, okay, we're here. So, let me get this screen up. Present. So, hopefully, we don't have any lag here. Share screen. Okay. Welcome to those who are watching. Uh, we're live on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I've got to see. Let me check to see if you all can see me on Instagram because it is showing in vertical format. So we're going to have to see if you can see me. Oh, there it is. Um, 
Um, okay. All right. Well, you can see my graphic. I know that. So when I move that, you should be able to see me, but you won't be able to see the full screen, but I'll try to make sure items are in the center of the screen so you can see them. Um, so let's get to it. Um, okay. All right, my, my Puda is a little, she's slow. And she's kind of got some, ooh, where is my, okay, there it is, okay, oops, there we go. All right, you should be able to see my Pinterest screen here, uh, not much of it until I start choosing some things, so, but I want to start with um, one look that you can make with McCall's 6886. And that was this one we I showed you in the preview. This is by Christian Siriano. It's from spring 2018. That's a, a one shoulder top. I was more focused on the top than the whole piece because actually McCall's 6886. Also McCall's 8058 is another pattern that is exactly like it. It's just a newer print of that pattern. Um, let me see. Oh, I need to. Let me share this one. All right, so you should be able to see the um, top right in the center of the screen here. Um, it has that um, one shoulder or bare shoulder or one shoulder, however you want to describe it, design to it. I like the ruching also on the sides uh, on her, I guess her right. Her right side, I like that. Now, I do. I wouldn't do the bell sleeves, though. That's just not me. I wouldn't do the bell sleeves. Now, I want to. Um, let me see. Uh, in a second, I'm going to bring up the McCall's pattern. Hold on a second. I'll bring up the more recent one in case you want to go ahead and grab that at the store. It's McCall's 8058. And um, unfortunately, I can't put them both on the same screen on this one, but um, I'll try to bring it up for you. So, but what I like about the one shoulder design, like I said, it's the one shoulder and that collar, that little asymmetrical collar. Now, I have um, started to draft it. I, <laughs> it was taking too long, so, and I was going to do a demo and all of that, but I didn't. Um, but I love that collar on there and um i'll show you a bit of my pattern in a few minutes but i had started to draft it and just stopped <laughs> so all right so let's see this pattern is let's go to the pattern company all right and my sorry y'all my computer is super slow all right so hopefully you're going to be able to see Right, good. Oh, it's going moving kind of fast. So we're going to work with that. All right, this is, let me move it, get it so you can see it. Let me see. There we go. So this is McCall's 8058. Now, if you can see, the silhouette is that of a fitted silhouette. It's knit fabric um, that you're going to be using to make this garment. Um, a two-way or a two-way more durable, not more durable, more um, stable knit or a, a good four-way stretch knit also, but I wouldn't do anything very thin with this dress. Um, it has different views here, sleeveless with a long sleeve, sleeveless. You have V-neck, you have a V-neck, jewel necklines, um, and a scoop neckline as well and different lengths. Now for this hack, which is this, um, I would do just a short dress, maybe a little bit, make it a little bit shorter. And what I have, I have done was draft the collar off this with another pattern. And that pattern is what I suggest. And I'll tell you why in a second. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to switch screens like this better stuff coming. I'm going to actually, now I'm just being candid. This is an experiment for me. So um, don't look for heavily <laughs> uh, 
curated and edited videos from me. I'm just telling you the raw deal. I'm, this is something I'm really, I, I really love to do, which is pattern hack. I really like to figure out how designers make the designs that they do make and figure out what patterns I can use to, in order to create that. And that's what I'm sharing with you. And I'm just going to take you on this journey with me being, I'm trying to be better at teaching this to someone else. Uh, but I, I am pretty good at, at helping you find resources for that. That's why the search part of it is in uh, in the mix. Um, I can help you, um, you know, level up your sewing skills by showing you a few little tips on how to access information better. All right. Um, but yeah, this is sort of my experiment, truth be told. Um, so I'm going to check comments in a second. I'm sure y'all probably saying something. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to. Now, this is the pattern I matched up with McCall's 8058. We're just going to call it that number. McCall's 8058. This one is McCall's 7807. It's a, a tunic. Uh, well, a top and tunic with the one shoulder. Let me see if I can get it. I'll show it to you. My computer is a little bit okay let's see if i can there we go so here's the one shoulder here now what you see is let me see if we can make it a little bigger we can is see how nice and fitted that one shoulder is around her neckline i don't know if you can see that uh instagram so let's, let me try this maybe move it over a little bit if you can see how fitted it is, that's what I liked about this pattern. Now, what you see over in view B, you can see it better in view B over here, the purple top, that that line right there at the round the neckline, that's a stitch line for facing. So that that is facing that's there. It may look like it's a separate piece, a uh, pattern piece for that neckline, but it isn't. It's it's actually the facing. And that's what I liked about it because I could use that, that facing to create um, the shape that I need for the neckline on my McCall 68, excuse me, 8058 pattern. So that's what, uh, hopefully you can see, yeah, we can do that. So this one, I would mash up with that McCall's um, 68, um, excuse me, 8058 pattern. Um, very easy to do, even though the McCall's 80, um, 7807 pattern, this pattern is not a woven. The shape of the neckline is all I need. Everything else I would have had to take in consideration about, you know, knit versus woven. But in this situation, I just need the state shape. I just need the design lines. Um, I hope you're understanding that. You have any questions so far about what I've said? <laughs> Let me see. I got a little comment. Let me see here. Um, a little. Okay. So, Stacy, you said you've done a little on your own, more when your mom would sew. Uh, and it was part of process. It is. It is part of the process of sewing. If you're um, doing any sewing, you're going to alter the pattern in some way, even if it's just for your size alone. Um, but yeah, I'm most more so as more and more are interested in doing even more than that. Um, so, but yeah, and it's fun, but it's hard. It's some, well, in fact, some cases it's hard. Um, so uh, let's see. So that's the pattern I would match up for that look. That's look number one, um, that Christian Siriano top. And I would do straight sleeves and I'll show you the detail I would use on the sleeves as well. Let me see, see if I can get that. I'm gonna show you in just a second, the sleeves that I chose. Mm, let me see. One moment. What happened to it? Okay. Oh, well. Okay, I can't. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, this, there's a yellow dress. Oh. that has the sleeves that I want. And if I can find it, I'll show it to you. Um, I can't find it. I don't want to waste time. So let's go ahead and go to the next look <laughs> that I was thinking about. 
All right, and this one is Bottega Veneta rib knit cutout midi dress. This one, um, let me make sure you can see it. Let me make let me pull it up here. One second. You should be able to see it in just a second on the model. Now, this one is fire to me. <laughs> I really love it. Now, I had another pattern mashup for it that was from Simplicity's Vintage Collection. I'm going to pull it up while you look at this. Now, this one is just, you know, it has the V-neck. It has a deeper V-neck than the McCall's 8058 View F. Um, so you can you can alter that easily, just dropping the V V neck. I don't think um, you would have a problem with doing that um, manually. But that one um, has that rib knit. I think Melanated Fabrics has a nice rib knit that would be great for this. Um, just be careful when you're finishing the edges of this fabric. You're going to have to use a um, stabilizer sort of interfacing to keep it from stretching out before you stitch and for you surge and turn it under or sew it, however you're going to finish your edges. Um, so make sure you're using stabilizers for that. Um, let's see. I'm on it. I'm trying to get that. And um, it's midi length, uh, which I like also. But what I really love about it is the shrug. And let me show you the pattern that I chose for achieving the shrug look. And you're going to be surprised, I think. <laughs> uh, because you really got to spy these kind of things. And um, uh, I have so many patterns that, you know, I'm always seeing different looks and always imagining something else out of it. So let's see. I hope I can get this with, um, I'm sorry, my computer's hanging up a bit. Okay. All right. Let me see. I want to see if I can... I may have to show you here. Oh, good. I can. I found a picture. And I'm going to see if I can grab that. All right. So this one's from the 1960s vintage pattern from Simplicity. Um, it has a, uh, let's say, uh, one piece sleeve detail and a yoke. Let me show you in just a second. I'm going to show you the line drawing first so you actually can see what I see. Uh, see what I'm talking about here. So this is McCall's 1284, excuse me, Simplicity 1284. And that view A, you see that with the, actually those th sleeves are three quarter length. Um, I would lengthen that, but just be careful with, oh, let me look at the um, the other one. Hold on. Let's see. I want to go back to this one. All right. So you see the design of the shrug, right? It's just straight across um, and it has a long cuffs here. And if you don't, if you notice the direction of the um, the fabric is along the long length of the grain, the, the long grain right? or the straight grain, excuse me, the straight grain of the fabric, which is great because um, this other pattern that we would use for it um, has that one piece sleeve. So there's this is this bodice front is one whole piece with includes the sleeve, and so does the bodice back one piece. So that's that works, um, and we can use that long grain to cut this pattern out. You know, so I don't know if this pattern is cut on fold or what. I have it. Let me see. I can look, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave that detail to you to find out. But it is cut on fold. It actually is. And I'll show you the, uh, let me show you this real quick. This is, now uh, tell me if this is interesting to you guys, because you know, I don't know. <laughs> you need to know, you need to tell me if this is interesting. Oh, okay. I see some people on, on um, oh, thank you, Nelly Jeans. Uh, I'm glad, is this being interesting to you guys? I'm going to show you the actual pattern in a sec. Let me see if I can um, bring myself on camera real quick. This is, you can see it, um, this is the pattern, the vintage um, 1960s Simplicity 1284. I hope you can see that. Oh, can you see it right there? Let me bring it back a little bit. So that's the pattern. 
And this is the line drawing for it. You see, see that, well, the line drawing for the pattern pieces, patterns three and four, very much like that shrug. So you can use that. You don't even have to use the contouring for the um, the armhole here underneath. See the little curves for the arm hole. You don't even have to use that. Just cut it straight across and make the sleeves skinnier, I would think, because um, the inspiration piece is um, it's thinner. So let's go. Let me go back to it. So could you see it in there? Could you imagine? Right. Um, so those that and McCall's 68058, I keep saying 6886, but you know what it is. Um, those two pieces could make this dress. So there you go. Um, beautiful hack. I, I love this look, even the purse and shoes. OK, nice. OK, let's move on to the next one. That's number two. What's that? Two or three? Oh, this is a great one. Let me see if I have this one. So bear with me. Let me find my other one. While you're watching, uh, I know I put up the one with the the cream outfit with the one shoulder. I didn't have time to pull patterns for it, so I didn't get that one together. But that's coming. I might do a um, a class on that one too. Let's see. Yeah, these hacks will be in classes um, coming soon. If you're interested. Oh my gosh, I don't have it. Oh, let me find it. Uh, okay. I have pulled too many outfits here. So let's see. Mm, I have a bonus one. And this is just an idea. Uh, let me throw this bonus one in here. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to find this other one. All right. So this is, it says accordion knit gown at my showroom, I guess. Let me show you this one. If you had any questions about the other ones, let me know. This um, could be made with McCall 6886 as well. Hope you can see that. Let me see. Yeah. Um, it's super long. <laughs> so it has the fit of the lower part of the dress um, in view. I'm not sure what it is on the 8058, but view B on the uh, original McCall 6886. That's the the long length. Of course, you can make it even longer. Now, I imagine this one with a store bought sweater. So let's say you have, um, and it, it, I would do a print sweater, sweater, you know, just so I wouldn't have to actually match the bottom half. So maybe a a ponty knit, a refined ponty knit, that great ponty knit they have at Joann's, and a printed knit, lightweight sort of on the lightweight side sweater from the store, thrift store, whatever store, on top, and finished it off like this. Now you can do, I'll be careful about doing the yoke like that unless you know what you're doing because you do have to put some um, sort of like, I would put, say, this uh, it's a, a pop called a power mesh in there to to make that fit around the waist nicer okay because that yoke is gonna want to flip out flip down and because of the weight of the top also so you gotta kind of build some stuff in there to make that happen but i think that would be cute with a um a different type of sweater on top of it so what do you think about that um so let me see if i can find the other one which is actually a pretty good one I think that's the third look. We've got two more. Y'all keeping count. Um, the next look. Ah, I can't find it right now. So um, let's, I have another one, though. This one, this is simple. And I have a pattern that's still in circulation <laughs> that you can use for it. And I'll show you. Now, this is a casual outfit. I tried to pick some things that you can probably wear right now. Um, some things. This is a casual outfit, a dress. It can be any length. Of course, you can put the slit on the side like this or not. But I like the cold shoulder and the crew neckline, the t-shirt look, and the dolman sleeve. Now, what I chose for this one, ooh, let me pull the pattern up. It's Simplicity 1463. 
I should have had all these tabs up, but you know. Um, simplicity, 1463. Hope y'all taking notes. <laughs> oh, but, uh, we can do classes on this. This will be fun. Um, this one is still in circulation, so which is great. Let me pull it up for you if, if it'll cooperate with me. Okay, there we go. Let me look at this one. I'm just going to pull this one up right here. This is the top, if you can see that. There we go. So there's the top. You can actually see that it has that dolman sleeve and the little cuff here. I like that detail. Not crazy about this neckline um, because I like the tighter neckline, but you have Macaw's, what, 6886 View A, that narrow neckline. You can use that. And I think you can search and find a tutorial on how to um, put in a neckband like that. And also do that circle like that and put in a neckband. But generally, you can just do a, make, create a, cut a circle out. Show you the, oh, I didn't show you the new one. So you generally, you can just cut a circle out. Um, let me come send you to the other screen. Hold on a second. There you go. Uh, I don't know why it's showing over there, but on the side. But see, you can cut that circle out right here and put the um, rib knit band here around the shoulder and use the narrow neckline or the jewel neckline view of the McCall, the base pattern, basically, and create that. So the mashup with McCall's 8058 or 6886 with Simplicity 1463. That would make that look with a little work. Um, and you can make the sleeves longer too. This one's not, you can make the sleeves longer than this. This is not a bad, you can, you can hack that. Not bad at all. Um, and also just for notes sake, you're, you're going to, um, these are patterns you will lay overlay over each other. Well, you'll overlay the 1463 over the Macaws 6886. Now you're working with the Macaws 6886 that fits you. Okay. The one that fits you. You're, so you've already worked, you've already made this pattern. Hopefully if you're a sewist that have um, been sewing at least five years, you probably ran across this pattern and made it. So you know what it, know it fit, know it fits you and what size to cut out of it to fit you that fits you so you'll grab this 1463 you'll lay that pattern over the top portion of this this other pattern and trace out your um the top part to make those that dolman sleeve um it's, there's techniques to that there's some some planning that has to go into that to make it a successful hack um but those are things that i teach um in my upcoming group that's coming up um uh, sewing pattern hacks group and so that's where we're going to find patterns for pattern hacking uh, we're going to do workshops on how to do these things and how to how to plan it through all of that uh, this is something i do on on a regular in my head but i kind of sit down and get on pinterest and run through different ways i can make these looks and now i'm going to put it into practice um like i said it's messy my my videos may look like this, but I actually I'm trying to <laughs> do better <laughs> and um, do more um, you know polished types of videos that y'all like. Okay, so I'm looking at my camera, but I should be looking at you. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'm gonna break right here, and before I can find this last one, if I can't, I I have a, another one I can throw in. My name is Susan, and this is Unsolicited, where we break down fashion one stitch at a time. I am a seamstress. I, I have um, sewn for over 40 years, really. Um, since I was a little girl, my mother taught me how to sew. And um, I've always had a curiosity about how things work. So I kind of fell into doing alterations. And I've done that for years now. I've actually done it as a full-time job since 2011. So it's been 11 years now. And um, I, I, while I was living in, in Atlanta. So, but 
I literally break down fashion every day by doing alterations. <laughs> and I also do it uh, with the patterns that I have in my stash. I've done it for my clients. I, I will show you more of the, the past work that I've done uh, with my clients, um, custom clothing. I've done a lot of that. That's all they ask for is something that really they see out there on the magazine or um, in retail stores or in somebody's back. They, they want it. So I try to create it for them and I've developed a method in which to do this. Um, and it's gotten easier over the years for me to do this. And I want to show you everything that I know about it. So um, because I can talk about it in, ex you know, for a long time. So um, so who are we got here? I want to see who's in the room. We have Scrap and Diva. I mean, okay, let me go back to the beginning here. We had Stacy so and so. We have um, the Scrap and Diva, Felisa. Hi. Um, uh, I wish I missed. I didn't miss what you said. That was nice about, but I'll go back and check. Um, and Stacy again. Okay, thank you guys. Over on Instagram, we have Lydia, seller of purple. Hey, Lydia. We have Busy, Busy Y Peach joining us we had nelly jeans joining us we had love for sewing joining us and fit to be queen joining us uh thank you guys for hanging with me i will do this again next thursday i hate my tiktok group couldn't come in uh, i just couldn't manage all of that i i just found out that uh instagram would let me do a live um through my laptop and Streamyard uh software which i use to broadcast with so TikTok was a little bit too much. If they let me get on StreamYard, we're good. But um, otherwise, um, that's that. So I want to um, teach so as my goal actually is to teach so as how to improve their sewing skills and knowledge through learning how to Google like a sewist. I say that as if you all don't know how to Google, but we Google differently. There's ways to Google to get the information that we want off the internet um, in a different way. It's in, I would say it's something that more the common person probably doesn't know about. So, and it's helped me over the years to gather information on the internet that first from sewing specifically what I want. And I teach you how to take what you already have, these little patterns right here, and um, and break them down. Because sometimes, you know, the pattern companies don't, don't give you enough information as to how to construct these garments. And I show you about all the ways I know how to circle to get around that. Okay. And teach yourself really. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Last one. I've got to find this one. So bear with me. I'm you're gonna just have to see my face while I'm looking for this. And then I'm gonna shut it all out. It's 808. And yeah, I didn't want to be long tonight, so that's great. Um, I did five looks and I may go back over them if I can go back and find them. Uh, let's see. I got one more I wanted to show you. And I found it on my phone, but let me see. I don't know why I can't find it here. It was, I, I saved it as a favorite, but I can't find it. Let me see. Excuse me. Um, let me see. Mm-mm. Let's try, uh, I don't know where I put it. Mm, it's a dress. Let's see if I can do this one other way. I've got one more, y'all. I really, it's it's a very cute dress, but maybe I can um give you the demo with the actual pattern that I would use. But I really want you to see the dress <laughs> so you can actually visualize that. I don't know where I put it. Um, oh, I got one other place I can check. Let me see. Um, let me see if it's over here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Don't see it. Mm. Well, I'm just gonna scrap that and wait till next week to do that one, or sometime this week I'll post up, post it up. Um, but um, this was the pattern that I would hack with. Hope you can see that. Let me see if you can see. Yeah, that's the pattern, and it had some layers to it, so it was it was cute. 
it was cute this was um in case you want to know this is new look Ooh, wait a minute i hate it when new look puts those little code numbers on there that's what it, the code number is d0564 that's the one the pattern numbers that they have when they put the patterns on the shelf above above the pattern you know on the above the pattern cabinet in the store these are up there there's these numbers on those um, but you have to go inside the pattern to find the actual number. It's new look, new look, sixty four ninety five. That one, sixty four ninety five. So we're gonna do the hack with this one. But I can't find the picture. However, we're gonna go on. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm not sure if I'll leave this video up on YouTube. It's everywhere, but. However, I hope you get a sense of, 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 of what I want to bring to the sewing community. Um, and we're just going to keep going. I'm going to do pretty much some, some fun stuff, I hope, because uh, I'm going to actually do some practical steps and show you some steps that you can take to, um, to learn, learn, learn these pattern hacking skills. I mean, because sometimes you can, you can wear um, something plain, but you actually want something really you know, fancy or has a little statement to it. You know, we, we like a little statement piece. I do like a little statement piece. Um, so I wanted to show you how to, you know, make your um, clothing cuter, you know, fly. Fly, oh my. Now, if you've been anywhere around my Instagram stories, you'll see some of the things I like to put up and, and talk about um, the clothes that I put up, put up, put up that are pretty much, they're high fashion in a sense. So I want to kind of go to the high fashion level in sewing um, and help some of those advanced beginners and intermediate, intermediate sewists um, up level their sewing skills. Okay. From what I've learned. All right. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'll be willing to take those now. Um, so I'd like to know if you have any questions. Sorry, you can't see me Instagram. Where do I need to be? Over here? I think so. If you have any questions, let me know. I can see um, those who are over here on YouTube and Facebook or on Instagram. No questions? All right. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye, y'all.